Hello everyone, welcome back to Bloom Lessons. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can uh, install GOM Media Player on your Windows machine. And then uh, I'll show you how you can uh, set it as a default media player. So to get started, just open your browser and then search for GOM Media Player like that. Then on the search results, click on the link that points to player.gom.com. From this website, scroll downwards until you reach the download section which is somewhere down here, right here. So we are using Windows. Just click on download, on the download button for Windows. If you can't see this section, look for this download link at the top. Once you start scrolling downwards, you'll see this uh, free download link. Just click on it. So for our case, we'll click on this download button to start our download. Once we've downloaded our file like that, click on this carrot button if you're using Google Chrome or if you're using another browser, navigate to where your file is saved. In most cases, you can just click on the file to open it. But uh, for this case, I'll just click on the carrot button and then I'll click on open. That is if you're using Google Chrome. So wait for the installation to start. You can uh, minimize your browser. So the media player will unpack the file that we just downloaded. So wait for it to start the installation process. So you'll see this pop up once it's done uh, preparing, then uh, just click on next. Then on this next page, you have to agree to this license agreement. So just click on I agree in order to be able to continue. Then on this page, since we want uh, to use this media player to open all our files, we'll just associate it with all the files in our system. So if this checkbox is not checked, just check it like this. Make sure it's ticked. Then uh, if you want to add an icon to this media player on your desktop so that you can just open it from your desktop, you can also check this box. Then once you're done, leave the rest of these uh, settings the way they are. So click on next. Then uh, it will show you this destination folder. So just click on next. Then on this screen, this is an ad. So you can just decline. Also, you might find three, two, one ad. So just click on decline again. And then uh, once you've declined to all ads or once you've accepted all ads, the installation will begin. So remember, if you accept an installation from the previous steps, like uh, if you accepted the Avast antivirus, once the media player is done installing, it will install that software. So that's why we declined it to keep this tutorial short. So wait until the setup completely installs your media player. Then you'll see that it has added for you an icon on the desktop because you selected that option from where you can open the media player. Ignore this warning from uh, Windows Defender. It's basically telling you that uh, this installation has added an executable file in your system. So once the pop-up disappears, you can open your media player by double-clicking on this icon like this. If you added it on your desktop, if you did not add it on your desktop, just go to your Windows menu by clicking on this and then search for GOM Media Player if it's not here. So just search for GOM Media Player and then you'll see the Media Player right here. So you just click on it to open it. For our case, we've opened it from our desktop icon. Here it is. So once you've opened your Media Player, you can open your files by clicking on this logo which is a button. So just click on it, not the settings button though. So there are two buttons at the top here. We have the settings button and the menu button. So just click on this logo button. Then it will open for you this menu. From here, you can uh, open files on your file system or the easiest way to open files. You can just navigate to your file explorer by searching your file explorer. So if file explorer is not here, just search for it. File explorer, open it. So navigate to where you've saved your files. For my case, I've saved a file in my downloads folder. As you can see, I have this file. So you can just double click on it. And since we set GOM player to open all kinds of files on our system, by default, GOM player is the one that will play this file once you double click on it. So thank you again for watching. That's how you use a GOM media player. That's how you set it to be your default player to open your files. See you again in our next tutorial. If you like this video, click on the like button and also share. Remember also to subscribe to promote this channel. See you soon.